So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to uh, access and download the global uh, land use land cover data product using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to plot a global land cover uh, data into in, uh, Earth Engine, first we have to get a feature collection with a Brazil boundary. So our study area is Brazil. So we have to import our we have to import our world countries boundary into Earth Engine. That is United States is the Department of State Large Scale International Boundary Polygon. So we have to import the world level country boundary polygon into Earth Engine. So uh, to import that, we have defined a variable called countries equals to w dot feature collection. Uh, this refers to United States of Department of State a Large Scale International Boundary Polygon, simple 2017. So this data was uh, created in 2017, and this created by United States of Department of State. This is a world level country boundary policy. So in order to uh, so in order to specifically select our uh, country's boundary uh, country's boundary that is our area of interest our study region that is Zambia. So I could like to pick out only the Zambia boundary layer. So for that I have defined a variable called Zambia equals to countries filter double a dot filter equal country now and out classes Zambia. This our layer will be named as Zambia. The so next is uh, to load our load our global uh, land use land cover data product into Earth Engine. So for that, I have defined a variable called group cover equals to double e dot image. So this is uh, this code is particularly used to uh, import that uh, data that is uh, our data land use data into Earth Engine. So this is our uh, code to access our Global cover, uh, global land use land cover data, and uh, so for that I have defined a variable called load cover double dot ESC load cover L4 2009 January 1 to 2009 December. So next is I defined. Uh, so this is called as an image ID. So we are using this code to refer this image. So this it is called as an image ID. So this is a globe cover image ID, and because it has a different product, I put have uh, I will specifically choosing our uh, that is our land use uh, land use. So basically, this is called as an image ID. And we have uh, various parameters uh, in this image ID. So in this video, we have specifically is selecting our land cover. So to acquire our land cover data from this image ID. That is our global cover product. So I have defined a variable called land cover equals to global cover dot select. We are selecting this particular land cover from this image ID. So next is uh, to display our layer using in Earth Engine. So now to display our layer in Earth Engine, we have to specify map dot add layer. The land cover refers to this data. That is our land cover product from the Globe cover data. So dot clip. We are clipping by our study area Zambia, and this is curly brackets we use to set a default visualization parameter. And output as a globe cover Zambia. That is our land use uh, for Zambia. And to center our object, I've defined map dot center object Zambia with a zoom level of eight. So now let us run this code. Uh, code is option called run script. Let's run script. So now we can able to visualize uh, this is our land cover data product and uh, now we have uh, now we have to set a color for this uh, land cover product so for that go to the option called our layers go to the option called this setting option click that and now we can able to set that go to the option called palettes that is our color palette so now we can set the different colors for the different uh, classes of the, this land cover data so let me show you. So first, let me click this uh, color. It's okay. And next, let me add another color. So this green. It's okay. And similarly, so now we can able to see that I have set our seven classes, uh, eight classes for this land cover data, and apply it. Go to the option called apply, and click apply. 
So now you can able to view that. This is our uh, Vancouver data for the study area Zambia. So let me zoom in and check out the different features that Amodus, this uh, globe cover data has offered us. So now you can able to see that this is a uh, black color. Uh, let me uh, check this feature out. So to let me check this feature out, go to this uh, map to uh, satellite image. Now go to this layer, turn this off. So now we can able to view that this is a lake that is uh, marked or classed as a black color. In our land use, uh, uh, defined as a black color for this lake feature. Let me turn this on. So now we can able to clearly view this. Our lake feature, the water body features has been marked in a uh, black color. And similarly, let's uh, check this out. This uh, particular feature that is in yellow color. Let me turn this off. So this particular feature looks like a barren land. Let us check other features too. Now this, uh, you can able to view that this is our drainage patterns. These are different drainage patterns. Now let us see in our land cover data, global uh, globe cover data. Click this layer. So you can able to see that this is our uh, drainage patterns. Let me turn this off. So you can able to clearly view that this is our drainage pattern. That is marked in uh, blue color. So that is marked as a blue color in our uh, data product. So now we can able to see uh, other sets of drainage patterns. So we can able to review here. So we have a, a drainage pattern here. So let us see in our uh, global global cover data. So now we can able to clearly identify the drainage pattern in this. Uh, Global land use, uh, global data cover. Particular pro product, uh, this particular feature uh, product has access to uh, different classes of uh, land use. So we have different drainage patterns being observed around this area. So let me check this, check this out. What is this feature? Is? Let me turn this off. So it looks like a barren, but uh, with little vegetation. So suppose if you want to perform some analysis, you have to expose this data. So suppose if you want to perform any kind of analysis, you need to export this data to your drive. So I will show you how to export your uh, this data to your to your Google Drive. So Export a global uh, global card cover data to our drive. For that, I have defined. So to export our global uh, cover data to our drive, we have to first define a set of parameters. So let me show you that. First, export dot image dot to drive. That is our for our Google Drive. So we have to define a certain parameters like image that is land cover and description that is globe uh, globe cover and scale is 300 meter resolution and region. We have to define our region of interest or our study area. This I have defined Zambia. And uh, now let us run this code. Go to this option called run script. So 
now you can able to view in the task section we have our global cover we export our global uh, land use land cover data to our google drive so go to this option called run so now you can uh, this is a uh, windows popped up so task is task is to initiate our image export so task name is globe cover and this coordinate system is epsg and scale resolution uh, is 300 uh, meter resolution and drive which is exporting to our drive you can also name the drive folder so let me run this so now you can able to view in the task section our uh, export uh, globe cover data to a uh, that is our google drives being running you have, you have to wait for some time So now uh, let me show you that. So you can able to view in our task section. Uh, so now you can able to view in our task section. That is our globe cover has been exported to our drive. So now you can able to see that the phase has been completed. The runtime is around four minutes. So it is uh, available in our drive. You can open just by a click. Open uh, in drive. So now we can able to view that. So it has been exported to my drive. So now let me open my drive. So this is my drive. So I have exported my global uh, globe cover, that is our land use land cover data, to my G drive. So you can able to uh, view it by just by clicking it. So you can able to view this uh, TIFF image. That is our global land cover uh, image, TIFF image. So you can view it either in ArcGIS, QGIS, or any uh, GIS related softwares. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, use, uh, how to export our globe cover land use land cover data, uh, land use uh, global uh, land use land cover data into Earth Engine. So I have shown you how to import our country's boundaries into Earth Engine and load uh, globe cover data in uh, Earth Engine, display the layer, and export to our Google Drive. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.